Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to take the bar off the Suzuki and just say I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so here we go. I'm in the process of taking off the rear bar because I want to put my reverse camera back in because the panel beater didn't know how to do it. Idiots. So I began by taking the tow bar off, 24mm socket on me. Good old trusty Roby. And then just four screws up the top so far. A few down here as well. A one and a two there. And that's it, I think. And then it should just pull off. So I'm going to see if I can put the camera down somewhere where you can see. No, it doesn't, you can't just move it over because it's flexible, it's not tight enough. So come on, put this one. Okay, as you can see there, what I've done is actually I'm going to mark the spot, drill the hole, then take the bumper off just a fraction in order so I can just push it in. I don't actually need to take the whole bumper off now I really think about it. Uh, but I've still got to take a fair bit of it out of the way because right behind here is the metal support. And yeah, I've got to come down. If you had a measurement, I don't know if you heard, but I can't remember it. But here to here is 95 mil, so I need to divide that by two and we'll get the center line. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. 95 divided by two, 47.5. So I'm gonna measure 47.5 from the bottom edge, straight across this line, and that's my center mark. I'm just gonna show it, just do that now. And then we have the center mark. Now, I've actually got my camera here. The wind. Is this camera? Yeah. This is about 25 bucks off eBay. I actually had a little cheap one that came with it. Um, but I broke it because it, it stuck out. This one's much better. It's more flush, looks nice, nice and tidy, and easier and a lot stronger. A much better camera. All right. I'm going to find the bit and I'm going to drill a hole. Okay, so here we got the bit. Now what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to do the center hole first. And I'm going to put a stick through it and just make sure that there's nothing behind there that I can hit. Because um, it would be much easier to drill this hole with the bumper on still. Okay, so I'll put this down and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Thank you. 
Well, there's no turning back now. There's a hole there and I've scratched the bumper. So I'm just gonna stick a bit of wire in there and make sure I can see how much room I've got. All right, just let me go and get that. Okay, here we got my bit of wire. I need two hands. Okay. Going up, got quite a bit of room. Going down, heaps of room. So I'm just gonna go straight in and pull the wire out. Heaps of room, so I won't hit anything straight away. So that's a good sign I can just drill the hole, which I'm gonna do right now. Back to him. Oh, you guys f***ing your bumper up. There's a hole in it. <laughs> okay, now we've got a nice clean hole. Test, I'm going to test fit my camera. It's a little harder than it looks. That is a beautiful snug fit. If only reverse cameras came out 30 years ago. Okay, now it's stuck in there. I'll plug it in and turn the camera on and rotate it as per needed. So we I might actually just be able to get away with just releasing the few bolts down here, lifting it, turning it, and, I'm, and plugging it in. Taking those top ones out might have been a total waste of time. All right, let's get to it. Now it's time to put the car in reverse and see where the camera's at and adjust it from there. Which the driver's side's on this side, not over there. So we're in reverse, turn the ignition on. Okay, you I can faintly see it, but we can mainly see the camera. Um, it needs to be rotated, obviously. So I am going to do that now. Now, oh, that's better. So you can see there. You probably can't determine how it is, but yeah, this is my left leg in the footage. Clearly needs to be rotated, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to not show you how to do that, it should be pretty obvious. So I've just rotated the camera. Yep, I'm happy with that positioning. Okay, now guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm just going to finish tightening it off and call it done, so I actually didn't have to take the bumper off which is good for me, but bad for you, I'm sorry. But just literally two bolts underneath on each side, pull this off, that's it. No hard job about it. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do like and comment. If you dislike the video, dislike it, I guess. Make sure you subscribe, there's always gonna be more. The motivation I get from making my videos is subscribers and commenters. So the more the merrier, so. I'm actually going to revise my channel. I did say it's all pretty much anything to do with cars. I'm actually going to change it. It's pretty much anything to do DIY. So if you've got to do it yourself, I'm that type of person. This is no longer just cars. This is a DIY channel to do with anything that you could possibly do by yourself. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.